At the outset, I want to admit that we cannot hope to remove all trial and error from factoring trinomials except by the so-called AC method, which is in general much more difficult than the few simple considerations I here propose. The AC method requires so much mental agility to find the proper factors, followed by the cumbersome procedure of factoring by grouping, that it is completely discouraging to many students. So let us see if we can find a more convenient method. Let us begin with a problem which involves most of the difficulties you could ever encounter. This trinomial needs to be first arranged in descending powers of the variable, or ascending powers of the variable, with a positive term in front. Well, in this case, negative x squared, we usually arrange it in descending powers, so I will. And uh, that leaves us with a negative term on the front. But we don't like that for the process that I am recommending. So we factor out a minus 1 from each one of the three terms. This is common monomial type of factoring. If you take a negative 1 from this, it leaves 4x squared, negative 16x, and positive 15. Now we have a trinomial arranged in descending powers of the variable with a positive on the front of the trinomial. We simply bring down the negative 1, start the factoring of the trinomial by the usual process of using two parentheses, and in the front of the two parentheses, here and here, we put two numbers which multiply together give the front term. Now, I recommend that you select the two numbers, two factors, closest together. Uh, 2x and 2x would be the two factors closest together. We always split the uh, x's down the middle, the variables. So, and 2 and 2 are closer together than 1 and 4, so I recommend that you try that because the probability favors that. And. Uh, then, in the back of the two parentheses, we put two numbers which multiply together give the 15. And once again, selecting factors which are closer together, so 3 and 5 are the factors of 15 which are closest together. Then we multiply the inners and put them beneath. 3 times 2 is 6x, and 2 times 5 is 10x. And we pick the signs. What signs shall I put here and here so that when I combine these terms, the 6x and the 10x, or add them together, we will get the middle term. So the, the problem has been arranged so that the front terms multiplied together give the front term of the trinomial. And the two back terms of the parentheses multiplied together give the back term of the, of the trinomial, and the inners and the outers now add together to give the middle term of the trinomial. But we have to pick the signs. So what signs should we put on 6x and 10x so that we will get minus 16x? Well, if they're both negative, we'll get negative 16x. So we put those two signs there, and then Another recommendation that I have is that you move the upper sign then to the left, the upper of these two signs to the left, parenthesis, and the lower one to the right. And when you do so, you are finished, except that you have to check now that we have put these signs here, minus 3 times minus 5. Do those multiply together to give positive 15 as we wanted? And they do. So here we have the factoring of the trinomials. Um, and uh, we have a graphic which shows you the, the first of the steps which we have uh, utilized. Arrange the terms in either descending 
the usual way, or ascending power isn't the variable, with a positive term in the first place. If necessary, factor out negative 1 to make the front term positive. Always select factors which are closest together. Probability favors those being the right ones. Experience shows that the probability is highest that those will work, both on textbook trinomials and on practical application problems. Even if one is not willing to grant this probability statement, this approach is an organized one which gives confidence to the person doing the factoring. The steps of the whole problem now look like this. Of course, the steps we did on the board are much less numerous than this. These graphics simply break down the, the thought process into tiny steps as one would do to write a computer program. Note that the minus one is distributed if you want that final form of the answer. The minus one is distributed to only one parenthesis since the first, the distributive law involves only one parenthesis. Note that the AC method would have required us to find two numbers which multiplied together give AC. So in this case it would require us to find, would require the student to think of two numbers which multiplied together give 60 and which add together to give the B number 16. So the, the process is equivalent to asking the student to solve a system of equations like this. x times y equals 60. In other words, the product of a and c is 60. And the sum of x and y equals 16, the b number. Requiring a student to solve a system of equations like this in his head is fine for some students, but not in general. And so I greatly favor doing the sort of reasoning which I'm pres prescribing in this uh, set of, of uh, principles rather than uh, using the AC method, which even when you get these, uh, these two numbers, A, X, and Y, such that they multiply together and give 60 and add together to give 16, um, they will, uh, you're not even finished. The, the process is, still requires the student to then uh, set up a factoring by grouping situation and then solve the rest of the way by grouping. A process extremely difficult for many students. Let us now begin a second example which will review the steps we have used plus bring one other situation to light and show how to deal with it. So here we have a trinomial which we arrange in once again descending powers of the variable with the positive term at the front. And uh, then we start the process of factoring with the two parentheses picking two numbers which multiplied together gives 6x squared, 3x and 2x, the two factors closest together. And similarly, in the back, two numbers which multiply together give the back term, negative 10. Uh, don't pick the sign. Don't worry about the sign. Just 5 and 2. 5 and 2 will do. But now the question arises, shall I put the 5 here and the 2 here, or vice versa, the 2 here and the 5 here? Well, another of the rules which I propose is not to put the 2 in here. Put the 2 over here and the 5 over here. 